G'day everyone, Viv here, hope you're all keeping well. It's super noisy today, the door's open, everything's going on, lasers are running, and so I'm sure it's super noisy. But I'm filling up the HLT with some water. You can see this hose, that's coming from around the wall. Um, let's go and have a look. So the hose is hooked up, and we'll go out there in a second, but the first thing I've noticed is that water is filthy. So we're gonna to need to put in some sort of filter. I've got one of these filters, but I think I'm going to need a particle filter first before I go through one of these. Um, but, you know, this is what I was talking about the other day. That uh, there's a tap just there and a tap just there. And this one, it's going to be super noisy out here, I'm sorry. So it's coming through here. And there's a tap just behind here, you can kind of see it just in there. So I want to take that tap and put it on the other side. It's going to get even more noisy, but we'll go around here. I'll come away from that extractor. I'm sorry about all the noise. So that tap over there is the one that I was trying to move. And then I want to move this one over here too so that I can have them on this side. Now, obviously that hose comes around here and you know I can fill things up and it works, but um, anyway, let's turn this off. Let's get a pump on, dump this water out, put some fresh water in there, and then I might run some sodium perk through all of this and see how we go. Okay, so we've got that with a whole bunch of grotty, grotty water in there. Don't brew with this, gross. Uh, anyway, let's just see if everything works. So we'll turn this on. Make sure all our probes and everything come back up properly. Mash temp probe is not registering. And I don't know what's happening on the camera, but all the others seem to be wigging out on the camera. But the mash probe, which is this one here, isn't registering. So let's just undo this. There we go, they're all registering fine now. So let's have a look. We want water coming out of here, going through that left hand pump, which is the water pump, and then back up into the top. So we'll open up the top valve so water can come back in through the top. Our valve for the pump is open. We'll open this valve. And then we might need to do a little bit of shifty magic in here because we need this pump full of water uh, before it will actually pump anything. So we'll just loosen this off a little bit. Get some water down into it. And close that up. We'll switch on our water pump and see what happens. So there we go, we can hear a pump start to run. And we're gonna to start to see some water flowing. Now that's flowing really, really weak at the moment, but as the pump primes, there we go. So we got water coming through. Let's turn on, so that water is at 14.8 degrees, 14.7, 14, let's turn on the HLT, it's going to go to 77.2, so the element is on, that'll now start heating up, and we'll see how we go, we might run just a little bit through there, just so we've got that bit of the system clean, we'll dump that water, then put some sodium perk in, and do a whole flush of the brewery. So whilst that runs, I'm just going to let that heat up for a while and see how we go. Make sure that the element is working properly. Make sure that the control panel is working properly. Um, and then, like I said, we'll dump it all out, put some sodium perk in there and clean out the brewery. But it's good to have it running. I can't wait to, you know, um, actually brew some beer and get it into that fridge. Um, I've finished now setting up the fridge. We'll go have a quick look in a second. I just need to put a new base plate in there. So let's check that out and I think we'll call it that for this update. Uh, let's go have a look at that fridge. This fridge now has, uh, you know, that plate in the bottom there. So let's just knock that open. Um, okay, so 60 litre fermenter. I knocked up that little frame. I had it sitting on a, you know, a 100 millimetre square post. And it really wasn't fantastic. Anyway, so I found some 10 millimetre acrylic in the warehouse and cut out this template on one of the lasers. And... Um, and then I just knocked together this simple little frame out of a little bit of pine. 
um, and that'll just sit on there. I'll probably fix this in here with a couple of screws just so that you know it's a bit more solid. But that gives me a nice solid base to you know put the fermenter on. And as you can see in the acrylic, I notched out that bit where you know hoses and attachments can go and samples can be taken and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, that's pretty much good to go. I just need to get that STC sorted out. Where is it? Down here. I'm just waiting on some parts from JCAR to arrive so I can, you know, assemble everything into this into this box here. I'm um, just waiting on some fittings. So when they come, I can get that sorted out. So there we go. There's my very quick update for the brewery at the moment. Just you know, run some water through it. It hasn't doesn't seem to be heating up at all. So I need to check my probes and find out what's going on. Should have at least increased from 14.8 degrees. Find out what that's about and get some work done on the STC for the fridge behind me. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time. Ciao. So I figured out why the control panel wasn't showing the HLT increasing in temperature. Because I had the probes plugged into the wrong spot. So I moved the boil probe around and the HLT probe around underneath the control panel and it's all working properly. 